it's your turn. Hi guys, my name is Miss Emma and I am so glad that you're here with us today at Woods Kids. Today, we are continuing in our series called Rules for Life. Play well, finish strong. So, as always, we'll have a game, but a board game themed game this time. We'll have some worship, Bible story, the works. I'm so excited that you're here. Let's jump up onto our feet and start with our first worship song. See the sunlight, it's gonna be alright. I won't be afraid, no. When the waves are crashing and lightning is flashing, I'll still be standing. I won't be afraid, cause you light the dark, you fill my heart with courage. When I'm afraid, Jesus, you are my All right, awesome job worshiping. You can go ahead and take a seat. So, like I said before, all month long, we are talking about board games. I know that Mr. Zach loves board games. I like board games a lot too. One of my favorite games that I like to play when I was a kid was called Twister. Have you ever played Twister before? Awesome, yeah, so basically there's a spinner, there's a blanket on the ground, a bunch of dots on it, and then it's either like right hand on the blue dot, and then like that seems easy enough, right? But then, but then like your other leg has to go onto a different dot, and so you get all twisted up with all your friends. And I think you're wondering, Emma, how are we going to be able to play this game today? Like virtually, like you're on a video and we have no board? Excellent question. So what we're gonna do, I need you to stand up wherever you are and find a wall, okay? Everyone have a wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, you know, there's either gonna be the option of your right hand, your right, your, your right foot, and then your left hand and your left foot. And so I'm gonna say something like, left hand wall, and you put your left hand on the wall. Or, and then I'll say like, left foot wall. So you're also having to put your foot up on a wall too. 
okay? And then you're gonna probably get all jumbled up and make sure you're away from your friends, okay? And then I'll also have things like your head or your toes as well, okay? So get all limbered up, make sure that you're, you're stretched out and ready to go. Okay, so first let's do right arm head. Okay, great. Now let's do left arm wall. Okay, now let's do left foot wall. Okay, it's getting a little tricky. What about right arm floor? Whoa. Okay, what about right foot head? Can you do that? Okay, let's try that again. Shake it all out, shake it all out. Okay, let's do right hand head. Left hand head. What about both hands? On the ground. All right, let's do one more time. Good job, we're getting all our wiggles out. Okay, let's do right foot wall. Let's do right hand wall. Let's do left hand wall. I'm not gonna do left foot wall, otherwise we're gonna have to be in the air. So awesome job, thanks for playing that game with me, Twister. It's kind of hard, I'm a little bit out of breath from doing that. I know you guys are awesome though, so stay standing wherever you are and we are gonna jump into our next worship song. Let's go. When night is falling, when fear is calming, still you're calling me, yeah. Faith is lost and my hope exhausted. You will be my strength. When my mind says I'm not good enough, God, you're enough for me. I've decided I'm not giving up. You won't give up on me. You won't give up on me.
guys, you can go ahead and have a seat. Well, it says here today that we're supposed to learn a story about ants. And I've, I've looked through this, this Bible and I can't find a story about ants anywhere. So maybe, I don't, I don't know quite where it is. Maybe it's about Noah and the ark and two ants had to go onto the ark, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what this story is all about. So let's tune in and see what we're learning about today. My name is Erica, and I'm trying to get this metal ball over this bridge, around this magnetic thing, through the metal tubes, around the spiky yellow stuff, through the hoop, around in the maze, and in this orange thing to the very end. But so far, I'm stuck. Not here, not here, not here, not here, not even close to there, not here, not here, not, no, no, eh, here. But will I give up? Of course not! <gasps> if at first you don't succeed, try, try, that's what I was taught. It's my responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected. Let's do this. Ah. Okay, now I give up. I tried, I tried again. I still didn't succeed. I don't wanna play this anymore, it's so hard. Ah! I don't wanna do it if it's hard. I'm tired, my head hurts. Ah. I want to be right. I shouldn't quit doing something just because it's hard. I never get anything done if I did that. Let's do this. Hold on, hold on. I can do it. Hold on, hold on. Ah. Ah! I made it to the end, and it's all because I whined and complained about how hard it was. Actually, now that I think about it, the whining and complaining didn't really help at all. What did help was something we're learning about in today's story. That's something for you to anticipate. <laughs> the story is about ants, so that's why it's, it's funny. Let's do this. The Bible, it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 6. Verses 6 through 8. King Solomon was young when he became ruler of Israel after his father David. One night, God spoke to him in a dream. Ask for anything you want me to give you. What? Solomon had just been given the greatest gift of all time. He could have asked for anything. Unlimited money, the power to defeat all of his enemies, or even to be the best loved, longest living king of all time. Instead though, Solomon made a different ask. Lord, you have now made me king, but I'm only a little child. I don't know how to carry out my duties, so give me a heart that understands. Then I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. Solomon asked for wisdom, and God gave it to him. In fact, Solomon became known as the wisest man to ever live. Over the course of his life, he shared many wise sayings that were later recorded in the book of Proverbs. These sayings are to help people do what is just and fair, to help young people learn wisdom. Only fools refuse to listen and learn. The wisdom recorded in Proverbs gives godly advice about nearly everything, from using words wisely to staying away from trouble. But the most famous passages talk about the value of hard work. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, it has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. When was the last time you paid attention to an ant, other than the one that you were gonna squash on the kitchen floor? 
To better understand what Solomon means about work, well, I think it's time we take a closer look. Did you know that there are about one million ants on earth for every single human? Yikes! My skin is crawling right now. But just look at how amazing these little guys are. Like Solomon said, nobody lays out a set of rules for them. Nobody offers them an allowance or more screen time if they finish their work. God made them in such an incredible way that they stick with it and get the job done. In fact, some ants can lift up to 50 times their own weight. If you were that strong, you could lift an entire car. And ants use that super strength to store up their food, just like we see in Proverbs. And ants also work smart. They leave a special trail of chemicals called pheromones that tells them where they've been so they don't get lost or repeat themselves. And ants are incredibly creative. They actually farm aphids in order to have a constant supply of the honeydew aphids release. And the ants' creativity doesn't stop there. In times of flooding, ants will even protect the queen by forming a lifeboat with their own bodies. Just like Solomon reminds us, ants do whatever it takes to gather up the food they need and to protect their colony. They know how to get the job done, and that's with only about 250,000 brain cells. But you? God made you with 10 million brain cells. He's given you everything you need to work strong, smart, and creatively. And because God has given us so much, there's so much more we can do. In the New Testament, Luke records some of Jesus' words. Much will be required of everyone who has been given much. You are creative and strong. You have a brain that works like no one else's. You are determined. And most of all, you are created in God's image. That means that you can work hard at whatever it takes to show love to God and the people He's made. Sometimes that might look like helping raise funds to provide clean water for kids on the other side of the world. Sometimes that might look like cleaning your room before your mom has to remind you five times. Or working hard to help your little sister to build an epic Lego palace. Whatever your work, remember Solomon's wisdom. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, it has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. Be wise, work hard. God has given you everything you need to follow through. I <laughs> gotcha. Look, I get it. Work is hard, but if we don't work, nothing will ever get done. Think about it. If the ant didn't work, he wouldn't have any food stored up for the winter. We actually need work. Plus, think about Jesus. He gave us an example for how to love people and serve others. And he always did it gladly, working with all his heart. When we work, we should do it with a good attitude. Like we're working for God. We shouldn't whine and complain every time someone asks us to do something that's hard or boring. In fact, we could choose to work hard even before someone asks. Think of work like it's a mission. When your mom or dad tells you to clean your room or something, don't go, it's so hard. Instead say, let's do this, and then get the job done. You'll finish your work faster and you'll probably have a better time doing it too. So here's the rule for life to remember today. Work hard. When you work, put your heart into it. It'll feel good to accomplish something. And when you play, you can put your heart into that too. Yes, mission accomplished. See you next time. Awesome job today, you guys. You are so great at listening to that story. So thank you for doing that. We learned today that we are to work hard. And did you know that working hard actually brings glory to God? I think that that is so amazing, right? So we are learning also that all month long about our Bible verse, which is this. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little then you can also be trusted with something very large. Luke 16, 
10. So, okay, make sure you practice this either with someone at home if you're watching us online or if you're with us in person, make sure that you are paying attention and you're practicing this verse with your leaders. Because this is a really important one to remember because we're learning about responsibility all month long. And responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. It's awesome. So make sure you're remembering those things for the month, practicing your verse so that we can remember the rules for life that we have been learning about all January long here in Woods Kids. So to finish out our time, let's pray together. So take your God hand, take your me hand, let's put them together and let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for our time here together and thank you that we are able to learn about you and the rules that you have for us. And sometimes, God, rules can be kind of a bummer. They kind of can feel constricting and kind of just annoying. But God, I am so thankful that we can learn about things today like working hard. See, that's a pretty simple rule, right? So thank you that you are teaching us about rules that you have for us to make things awesome in our life and to bring us closer to you. It's in your name that we pray. Everyone said, amen. Awesome job. Thank you for joining us today. If you're joining us online, make sure you find that button for the lesson. But if you're with us in person, go find your leaders and let's learn more about responsibility. We'll catch you next time. Bye.